everybody, it's Sam here. I just wanted to do a video showing you how to put together the Christmas pudding. You could do the cupcake as well, but I am just gonna focus on the Christmas pudding. And I just think it's nice to have the one video so you've got something quick to be able to go to. So if you haven't seen the Christmas pudding, this is what it does. So you pull the top and then up pops, in this case, a snowman. You can also just use this shape on its own. So I've just created this like snow mound. And again, you've got the snowman popping up there. You could also change the colour, so I've done like a sand colour here and I've used the meerkat. Very, very cute. Here's the cupcake, but I've taken the top off to make it look like a Christmas muffin and I've done the holly on the top there and this time you have Bow Bear pops out the top. And then this one I've done this very nice glittery, like um, it's meant to look like ice really, or we'll give the illusion of ice because anyway, <laughs> the uh, penguin pops up and is skating on the ice. And then the last one here is the elf popping up there as well. But like I said, we're gonna do the snowman, it's very quick to do, but I just wanted to have it in a tutorial so that you've got something that you can look back on. This is the die set here. So I've already gone ahead and die cut everything. So I've got my main piece here, and this is using the mechanism, which is this one run that through your die machine and it will give you these two slots. So there's one here and there's one just down here. You then want to die cut this piece in whatever color you want to do. So because I'm doing the Christmas pudding, I've got this brown color and then choose your topping. So I've got the icing here and I've die cut that one there. Okay. You've also got the cherry, you've got the holly, which will die cut the stamped image in the stamp set, which is here just there or you can just die cut that in say green and then die cut again in red and just peep you know paper piece it together so that's everything there and then you also need your pulley which is this one you have die cut it twice in 300 gsm cardstocks it's nice and strong just stuck those together okay so it's very easy to put together you just want to go in from the top slot and then come back out from the bottom one just like so Okay, now whatever you stick here will become the stopper, so it will then, you know, stop it popping up. But you want to make sure that you just run a thin amount of tape. The thinner the tape, the better, because then more of your image is going to pop up or whatever you have there. Already people have been sharing, they've been putting photographs of like family members on there, and it looks really, really good. I love that idea. So you don't always have to use, you know, the stamps that we've given you to put with these. So I'm just going to take the backing off there. And then I have my lovely snowman here. So there's also the elf, which I've shown you, and I've just colored these, and those again are all from that stamp set here. So we're gonna use the snowman today. So just lay him on the back here, and you wanna make sure that you have him on an angle like so, so he fits inside, okay? And then if I just bring this down with that same angle, just like so. And then when I stick that over, you can see He's hidden behind there, okay? And then I'm just gonna grab some of my foam tape here. I'm just gonna cut a little bit, just to pop on each side. The foam will help because there's obviously a little bit of dimension. I'm actually just gonna half that again. You don't need much, you just want it to cover the sides. Obviously everybody's will vary depending on what you have inside. This snowman is quite wide, so you just wanna make sure that it's not gonna touch the sides. So now I can just stick that down there and then he will pop up. Okay then we've got the top in. I'm just going to use this piece of foam here and I'm going to attach that on there. Actually before I do that I always forget I want to stamp my sentiment. So for this one here, because of the way the snowman is, I'm gonna do the I love you so much. But you've also got Merry Christmas Pudding, you've got Happy Birthday Cupcake, you've got Chilling This Christmas. Maybe I'll do Chilling This Christmas actually, I haven't used that one an awful lot. So let's do Chilling This Christmas. So now I can just pop that on the back. And then I'm just going to lay that down over the top like so. I then have my holly that I'd already cut out here, so I'm just going to stick that down with a little bit of 
glue just there then I've got the pull which also comes in the stamp set just down there so I'm just going to ink that one up and just stamp that if you want to do that before you put it in you can do but it's easy to do now as well and then I have a 6x6 card blank I've just cut this from a piece of 12x12 12 12 in half and then folded it in half again I like to have these as top folding but you can have them side fold if you want and then on the back here I'm going to use my Kalal glue so it's going to add some strength just go all the way around here when you get near the mechanism just go a little bit lighter with the glue because you don't want it to spread out too much when you stick it down and then just hold it like so and then when you lay it down you'll get a nice white border around your card these are brilliant cards to batch make because you can just go ahead and die cut all of these pieces have them all stacked up ready to go and you can see there just how quick and easy it is to put together so whether you have your elf or your snowman you know just pull the tab and up pops that wonderful snowman so that's the finished card also I should mention the papers I had them sat there but I never spoke about them but these are the papers that you would see me use across all of these ones so again you've got your snowman you've got your elf <laughs> You've got a penguin, you've got a bear, you've got a meerkat, you have another snowman and the snowman again there as well. So, you know, that's just some of the ones that you can use. I'm sure you'll have lots more things in your own stash that you can put with these cards. They're lots of fun to make and uh, yeah, I can't wait to start giving these out to people. So thanks for watching. I'll link everything that I've used in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with another video. Bye.